day of Pentecost occurs 50 days after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We believe this day to be the birthday of the church. The colors of Pentecost are red for the tongues of fire, green representing growth, and white used in the Middle Ages as many came to be baptized on the day of Pentecost. On this day, the power of the Holy Spirit came down upon all those gathered from every nation in Jerusalem. Luke describes the day of Pentecost with these words in the book of Acts in the second chapter. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Over time, I have come to my own understanding of the Holy Spirit. In the book of Luke, in the 24th chapter, two disciples are walking along the Emmaus Road when a stranger appears. They do not recognize a stranger until the breaking of bread and the stranger suddenly disappears. These two disciples look at one another and say, were not our hearts strangely warmed as he walked with us and taught us the scriptures? This is the evidence of the Holy Spirit, the warming of the heart. Back over in the book of Acts, in the second chapter, after the Holy Spirit has come down upon the people, Peter stands and boldly proclaims the word of God. When he had concluded, 3,000 individuals gave their life to Jesus Christ. This is the evidence of the Holy Spirit, the power of God that lives within our lives. I believe we need to reclaim the Holy Spirit so that we can experience the warming of the heart and the power of God upon our lives.